Welcome in to Drew Silly Diamond for Thursday, August 15th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. We got three day games, two night games to get into. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today. Where you agree, where you disagree, all is welcome. It helps out the algorithm growing the show. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. As we got first game up, New York Mets hosting the Oakland A's, 110 Eastern, 1010 Pacific start time here with, with Mitch Spence going for the Athletics, Jose Quintana going for the Metropolitans, minus 170, that's the Mets as the home favorite, total of eight in the hook, first game up here with the A's, 19 games under 500 coming in, and they did just lose yesterday, 9-1, to one versus the lefty David Peterson, they're facing a lefty again here in Quintana, the Mets, four games over 500. They did break their losing streak. If you remember, they lost the last three of that terrible road trip in Seattle. And then they just, they, they lost the first game against the A's as well in this series. But they came back yesterday and won nine to one. Unfortunately, we're on the wrong side of that one. But we did win game one. So this is kind of the tiebreaker for the series if we're going to cash in this one. And I almost think it's a buy low opportunity on the Mets here. You know, after that losing streak, scoring nine runs yesterday, Quintana comes in. Yes, he did give up five earned his last time out, but I, I feel like he could have a pretty good start here against an A's lineup that is bottom 10 over the last two weeks in terms of how they're seeing the ball uh, by weighted runs created plus. Spence has been pretty good for the athletics, two earned runs or less in his last four starts. I think we do get a slight bullpen edge here towards the Mets. Uh, the next four games for the Metropolitans, they got Miami at home. So they got this game and then the Marlins at home. I think this is an opportunity where they can rack up some wins here. They're playing some important baseball down the stretch, trying to grab one of those National League kind of playoff spots here. So Quintana, he's been good to us over the season, guys. We're going to list him as the starter here. And instead of laying the minus 170 with the money line, also they're at home. So don't like uh, laying that minus one and a half run line just because, you know, if they're up by one run going into the bottom of the ninth, they don't get the bat. So uh, we don't like those three less outs having to win by two or more. So we're actually going to bet the minus one line on the Mets at home. So we get the push if they only win by one. If your sports book, a lot of them do, but if yours doesn't, maybe just split the bet you know, in terms of the money line and the run line. So if you're $100 better, 60 on the Mets money line, 40 on the Mets on the run line, that will get you where you need to be. So it's Mets minus one over the A's. Next one up an hour later, 2.10 Eastern, 11.10 a.m. Pacific. It's the LA Dodgers and the Milwaukee Brewers. Tobias Myers on the hill for the Brew Crew. Jack Flaherty making his third start for the Dodgers. Dodgers minus 145 road favorites, total of eight. Dodgers come in 21 games over 500. This is game number four of the series, a wraparound game. Dodgers are up two to one in the four game series. And the Brewers, you know what? They're 16 games over 500. First place as well. Battle of first place teams here, NL Central, NL West. I think Jack Flaherty and the Dodgers is the way to go in this one, guys. The 28-year-old, he's had one dominant start with the Dodgers. One, eh, not so great. But either way, the Dodgers have won both of his first two starts here. He's got a sub-3 ERA. He's a guy that throws pretty hard, you know, 94, 95 miles per hour. And the Brewers, hey, they have struggled a little bit with velocity. He's up against Tobias Myers here. Seven-plus innings his last time out. A great start. Just three hits given up. He also has a really good ERA, sub-3. I just think he's taking a little bit of a step up in talent in terms of lineup going to be facing. The Dodgers are starting to hit the ball right now. They've won five of six, not looking to step in front of them, especially with Flaherty on the hill. We can get him as low as minus 144. It was minus 135 last night when I was uh, kind of doing some research in the overnight market, but I was too tired to do the video. So we lose nine cents on that one. But still, guys, I think the Dodgers is the side here. Plus, Bullpen edge, uh, Nick Mears, one of the setup guys for the Brewers. He's gone back-to-back -back days, three of the last four. He's likely not available. All of that putting us on the Dodgers, minus 144 over the Brewers. Next day game up, 345 Eastern, 1245 local time. It's the Atlanta Braves and the San Francisco Giants. Great pitching matchup here. Max Fried and Logan Webb, minus 110. That's the Giants as the home favorite. 
low total of seven. This is also game four, wraparound game, with the Braves winning the first three and a run differential of 18 to five. So they've kind of dominated so far in this series. The Giants come in 61 and 62. Other than the last three, they've been pretty good at home. I mean, what, they're nine games over 500 at home, but they have lost what these first three games of the series, lost four straight overall. It's a little bit worrisome jumping on the Giants here, but really it comes down to the pitching matchup, guys. We get Max Freed, you know, great career overall, but recently nine earned his last eight innings of work. He's also had 11 walks the last three starts. So some control issues there for the Southpaw Braves hurler. And he's up against Logan Webb, two earned runs total in his last three starts. This guy has been absolutely money. His last 22 innings, just given up two runs. He's a guy that comes after hitters when you watch him pitch. Fastball, change up, changes speeds very well, keeping hitters off balance. I think he's going to have a pretty good start here. It's not a profile that I usually bet in terms of teams that have lost a couple going up against teams that have won a few. But in this situation, given the pitching matchup and an angle here, the Giants, they have lefty-righty dichotomy. They're a top six lineup in MLB versus weighted run by weighted runs created plus against lefties. They're facing a lefty here. They're bottom 10 against righties. So we get that positive dynamic here in terms of handedness of pitcher. I think they're able to put up a couple crooked numbers against Freed. Let's list Logan Webb as the starter with the Giants. We can get him as low as minus 111 here as they've taken money in the morning. So it's the Giants over the Braves third game up. Next one up, we'll head to the night slate. Up next, Minnesota Twins, Texas Rangers. Bailey Ober going for the Twins. Cody Bradford, the lefty, going for the Rangers. Eight in the hook being the total. Twins minus 110, slight road favorites. This is the first game of the weekend series, so of four games set between the two. Minnesota comes in 67-53 and 53 on the season. They have won the last four times Ober's taken the hill. He's been pretty good. The 29-year-old at a college of Charleston. Since June 12th, he's 7-1, and one, a 1-7 ERA, 73-13 to 13 strikeout to walk ratio. Over is bet on only for me. He's up against Bradford, who has been good overall, 26-year-old out of Baylor. But recently, nine earned his last 10 innings of work. He's also given up over a 40% hard hit rate in three of his last four starts. So he's going up against a good Twins lineup, actually by weighted runs created. Plus, they're the second hottest lineup in all of baseball over the last two weeks. They've been pretty good against lefties as well. They got a big bullpen edge, the Twins do in this one. They are a top five bullpen over the last five weeks by bullpen whip. And they're up against the Rangers. When you kind of do the research on the, the arms they have in the later innings, you know, like three of these guys were just in triple A, you know, at the start of this week. Now they're on the MLB. They're kind of thin um, in terms of the bullpen. And they've lost six of their last eight. This is their first game home off of a northeast road trip at Yankee Stadium at Fenway Park. I don't like this spot on the Rangers. So overall, guys, I think the Twins minus 109, the low watermark, will lay the, the nine cents Minnesota over Texas. One game left. A reminder, if you could uh, comment below, anything is welcome. Your MLB picks, any agreement, any disagreement, any questions, fire away. We'll answer them on tomorrow's show. Drew's Daily Diamond going going recorded here in the mornings uh, each and every day, Monday through Saturday. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. Premium picks up and available, 5% max limit going tonight. And we got the seven-day package for the price of three, so huge savings there. I would recommend that one if you're interested in premium picks, experts page, Drew Martin. All right, last game up, guys, 635 Eastern. AL East battle here. A big one in terms of playoff uh, kind of positioning. Boston Red Sox, Baltimore Orioles. Zach Eflin going for the O's. Nick Pavetta going for the Red Sox. Eight in the hook being the total, minus 140. That's Baltimore at home in Camden Yards. They come up, they come in 21 games over 500. Boston 63 and 56, very much in that AL wildcard playoff mix. And they got Pavetta on the hill. This guy's been great, really outside of Coors Field. His numbers are, are, are solid. And an interesting kind of angle in this one that I found, 
you know, being in division, I always like to go back. How are these starting pitchers facing against the opposing lineup, like past performance this season? Well, for whatever reason, he has not faced the Orioles yet this season. I think that's an advantage towards Pavetta. He's a guy with 117 to 23 strikeout to walk ratio. That is very good. And he's up against Eflin here. Eflin has made three starts with the Orioles since being traded from the Rays. They have won all three of those starts, but he was traded in division. So he actually saw the Red Sox earlier this season, went five innings with only two strikeouts. So not missing a whole lot of bats. I think he could actually struggle here. I mean, he's up against the good Red Sox lineup, top 10 overall, uh, good against righties. I think uh, Pavetta in Boston catching too big of a plus price here. Plus uh, plus 130, hey, we'll grab it. Risk 100 to win 130. That's on the Red Sox over the Orioles. In recap, we got the Twins over the Rangers near pick em price in that one. We got the Giants over the Braves, minus 111, listing Logan Webb as the starter. Dodgers listing Flaherty as the starter, as the favorite, minus 144. And the Mets leading us off, minus one run line over the Oakland A's. That does it for Drew's Daily Diamond. On Thursday, check out Premium Picks, wagertalk.com, experts page, Drew Martin. Smash that like button, comment below, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Cash those tickets.